Welcome to Ganga today. I am today talking on the basis of the discussion with uh, Mr. Tapas Das of Nadi Bachao, Jeevan Bachao uh, Andolan of Kolkata. Tapas says that at the time of Akbar, when Abul Fazal had visited Bengal, he found water everywhere and the entire area was prospering with rivers, rain and agriculture. But today the situation has changed dramatically. We have spent 1,30,000 crores of money in building barrages and embankments. But what is the result? The result is that today about one third of the district of Malda, which, which is on both sides, that is upstream and downstream of Paratta, about one third of the, the land of the entire district has been swept away by the Ganga and it has become highly flood prone and erosion prone. And after investing so much money, still, according to report of Mihir Shah, about 86% of the irrigation is still being done by underground water. So we have spent this huge amount of money for only 14% of the irrigation and in the process brought in a huge problem of flood and erosion. Tapas says that because of the reliance on underground water, huge amount of water has been taken out from the ground and this has led to the poisonous arsenic coming up. If, if you have arsenic at the, in the lower areas of the earth, but you keep on putting fresh sweet water into the earth, then the arsenic stays at the bottom and fresh water remains at the top and you can continue to use it. But since we have used up the fresh water uh, on the upper part of the earth, Therefore, the arsenic now has come up, which indicates that how much we are depending upon the use of groundwater, despite having spent so much on the development of river-based, canal-based irrigation. Tapas says that this whole problem ignores the fact that previously, when Faraka was not there, the Ganga used to flow through Padma to Bangladesh. And there were a large number of distributaries emerging from Padma, such as the Jalangi, which were bringing water from Padma to the Hooghly. And in the past, during British time, large ships used to ply through Hooghly, through Jalangi into the Ganga. So this Jalangi was not a small river. And what Tapas is saying, that instead of trying to revive Hooghly by making a feeder canal and a Faraka barrage, we should think about using the original course of the Jalangi to take the water of Padma to the Hooghly and in that manner also revive the Hooghly river as well as save us from the problem of erosion that we are facing everywhere. So Tapas says that yes, we have to use irrigation. We are within our rights to use water of the rivers for irrigation. But it would not be done in a manner that it leads to opposite results, which is of erosion and extracting of groundwater and leading to more arsenic poison. In 2015, the slogan was given that there will be water for every field, but it has gone. Then we do not talk about it anymore. Therefore, instead of spending our energies in trying to develop river-based irrigation, we should think of reviving our rivers and reviving the traditional methods of irrigation so that we do not face problems like flood erosions and arsenic poison and also we can expand irrigation and create good life for our people. Please do not forget to share this post, like this post, subscribe to our channel and for more information, please do visit our website www.gangatoday.com. Thank you.